welcome today we are going to discuss about the distance of a point from a line so this is lecture number 4 so distance of a point from a line say ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is a line and px1 y1 is a point this line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 cut axis at point A and B. So, A x plus B y plus C equal to 0, we can reduce this equation in intercept form, then we can write it as x minus C by A plus y minus c by b equal to 1. So, O a equal to minus c by a means x intercept equal to minus c by a and y intercept means O b is equal to minus c by b. So, the coordinate of this point A is minus C by A 0 and coordinate of this point B is 0 minus C by B. The distance of A B is equal to by using distance formula minus c by a plus 0 whole square plus 0 this is minus 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 plus c by b whole square. So, this is c square by a square plus c square by b square is equal to mod c by a b square root of a square plus b square. So, a b is equal to mod c by a b into square root of a square plus b square. Now, in this figure draw p n perpendicular to given line that is p n perpendicular to a b and say the length of this perpendicular p n equal to d. So, let the length of this p n equal to d. So, area of this triangle p a b, area of this triangle p a b is equal to half into a b into p n. So, area of triangle p a b is equal to half into a b into p n. It means half into c by a b a square square root of a square plus b square into d. Area of triangle PAB can be found in this way, and we can also find area of triangle by using vertices of this triangle PAB. When we use this vertices of triangle PAB, so again we have area of triangle 
PAB is equal to half into mod x1 and 0 plus c by v plus minus c by a within bracket minus c by b minus y 1 plus 0 y 1 minus 0 is equal to half mod C x 1 by B minus minus plus C square by A B and minus minus plus C y 1 by A and this is 0. When we simplify it, we will get area of triangle PAB is equal to one by two C by mod AB and a x 1 A x 1 plus B y 1 plus C. Say this is second. So, from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 half into mod a b c y a b square root of a square plus b square into d is equal to half mod c by a b mod a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c so, half half cancel, C by A B, C by A B cancel. So, D is equal to mod A x 1 plus B y 1 plus C by square root of A square plus B square. So, in this way, we can find distance of any point from the line, distance between two parallel lines. So, here we have two line A x plus B y plus C 1 equal to 0 and A x plus B y plus C 2 equal to 0. So, these two line A x plus B y plus C 1 equal to 0 and A x plus B y plus C 2 equal to 0 are parallel line because when you find slope of these two line you will get slope of first line is minus a by b and slope of second line is also minus a by b. So, slope of these two lines are equal so these two lines are parallel lines. So, this is line 1 and this is line 2. So, put x equal to 0 in 1. So, we will get b y plus c 1 equal to 0 implies 
y equal to minus c 1 by p. It means this point p, so we have a point p 0 minus c 1 by b on the line 1. It means this line intersect the y axis at this point. Now, find the distance of this point p from the second line. So, distance of p on 1 from line 2. So, say this distance is d, the distance of this point p from the line 2 is t. So, d is equal to by using the formula d is equal to so mod a into 0 plus b into minus c 1 by b plus c 2 by square root of a square plus b square. So, d is equal to mod minus c 1 plus c 2 by root under a square plus b square. Then so, we can write it as c 2 minus c 1 by square root of a square plus b square. And this d is nothing but the distance between these two parallel line. So, we can find distance between any two parallel line by using this formula. Now, let us take some example based on these two concept. So, find the distance of the point minus 2 3 from the line 12 x minus 5 y equal to 2. So, minus 2 3, say so this is point minus 2 3 and 12 x minus 5 y equal to 2. We have to find the distance of this point. Distance is, say this line is 12 x minus 5 y equal to 2. So, this line will be, if you try to draw this line roughly, so put x equal to 0 will give y equal to minus 2 by 5. So, say this point is like minus 2 by 5, so this point is here, minus 2 by 5. So, this point is say somehow here and put y equal to 0 implies x equal to 6. So, x equal to 1 by 6, 1 by 6. So, this point is 1 by 6 means say this point is something here. So, point line is passing like this. So, we have to find distance of this point from this line means this d. So, use formula d is equal to a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c 
by square root of a square plus b square. Here, a is equal to here a is equal to 12 and b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to minus 2 and x1 y1 x1 is equal to minus 2 and y1 is equal to 3. So, now put this value on the equation on the formula d is equal to mod 12 into minus 2 plus minus 5 into 3 and minus 2 by square root of 12 square plus minus 5 square. So, this is 20 minus 24 minus 15 and minus 2 by 144 plus 25 means 169. So, this is 24 and 39 41. This is 41 by 13 units. So, this is the distance of this point minus 2 3 from this line 12 x minus 5 y equal to 2. In this way, we can use this formula. Now, we have another example. Find the distance between the line 3x plus 4y equal to 9 and 6x plus 8y equal to 15. So, given line three x plus four y equal to nine and so three x plus four y minus nine equal to zero another line is six x plus eight y equal to fifteen. We can write this line as take two common three x plus 4 y equal to 15. So, 3 x plus 4 y minus 15 by 2 equal to 0. This minus 9, this is C 1 and this minus 15 by 2 is C 2. So, distance between two parallel, these two lines are parallel line because 3 x plus 4 y, 3 x plus 4 y. So, its uh, slope is equal. So, these two lines are parallel when coefficient of x and y in both equation are equal then that two line will be parallel line. So, here c 1 equal to minus sin and c 2 equal to minus 15 by 2. So, we know that distance between two parallel line is mod c 2 minus c 1, you can write mod c 1 minus c 2, no, no problem, root under a square plus b square. So, this is minus 15 by 2 and minus 9 minus minus plus 9 modulus by square root of a square, a square means 3 square. 3 square, you can write it again mod minus 15 by 2 plus 9 by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. So, d is equal to mod minus 15 plus 18 by 2 and this is square root of 25. So, 
this is 3 by 2 by 5 means 3 by 10 units. So, this is a distance between two parallel lines. In this way, we can find distance between any two parallel lines. Now, another problem, good problem. If the equation of the base of an equilateral triangle is x plus y minus 6 equal to 0. Say this equation x plus y minus 6 equal to 0. This is the equation of base B C. And the opposite vertex is the point minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1. So, A is the opposite vertex of this base B. Then find the area of triangle means A, A B C. Since this is equilateral triangle, so this angle is every angle is 60 degree. Draw a perpendicular from this A to this base B, say this is this A n and the length of this altitude or perpendicular is D and this point is and say the side of this equilateral triangle is A. Find the relation between these two D and A. In triangle, A B N, A B N, angle B and A is equal to 90 degree. So, sin 60 degree is equal to P by H means sin 60 degree equal to D by A and sin 60 degree equal to root 3 by 2 equal to D by A. This implies D is equal to root 3 by 2 A. So, this is the relation between this A and D. We have to find the area of this triangle. So, to find the area of this triangle, so find the equation of this A n, equation of this A n. So, slope of slope of B C is equal to minus 1. Slope of A n is equal to 1, because A n perpendicular to B C. So, equation of A n equation of A n means equation of this A n whose slope is 1 and passing through minus 1 minus 1 is y plus 1 equal to 1 x plus 1. So, is equal to x minus y equal to 0 x minus y equal to 0. So, this is equation x minus y equal to 0. So, this is equation 2 and d equal to root 3 by 2 a. So, this is 1. And solve this equation 2 with given equation x plus y 
माइनस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन थ्री सो फ्रॉम सेकेंड एंड थर्ड सो वाई इक्वल टू एक्स सो एक्स प्लस एक्स इक्वल टू सिक्स दिस इंप्लाइज एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री x equal to 3 and so y equal to also 3. So, distance between two points, so a n equal to square root of 3 plus 1 whole square plus 3 plus 1 whole square. is equal to 4 square plus 4 square means 4 root 2. Now, in this triangle d is equal to what? d is equal to 4 root 2. d is equal to root 3 by 2 a from 1 implies 4 root 2 equal to root 3 by 2 a. This implies a is equal to 8 root 2 by root 3. So, area of triangle area of triangle ABC and ABC equilateral triangle. So, root 3 by 4 A square means root 3 by 4 8 root 2 by root 3 whole square. So, this is root 3 by 4 into 64 into 2 by 3. So, 32 root 3 by 3 square unit. So, in this way we can find the area of this triangle ABC. We can also find the distance of this or d by using distance formula. Now, let us try by using distance formula. So, we have given in this triangle a b c a is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and since this triangle a b c is equilateral triangle. So, this is 60 degree and equation of this BC is given x plus y minus 6 equal to 0 and draw this perpendicular say this is a n and the length of this perpendicular is d and the side of this equilateral triangle is a. So, d is equal to by using distance formula mod minus 1 minus 1 minus 6 by s 1 square plus 1 square. So, this is mod minus 8 by root 2 is equal to 8 by root 2 or you can write it as 8 root 2 by 2. So, this is a distance of or length of this perpendicular d and in triangle 
a b n because n is 90 degree. So, sin 60 degree rest we can do like this sin 60 degree equal to d y a. So, sin 60 degree equal to root 3 by 2 and uh, 8 root 2 by 2 a. So, this is a root 3 equal to 8 root 2. So, a is equal to 8 root 2 by root 3. So, area of triangle ABC is equal to half into A into D is equal to half into A means 8 root 2 by root 3 and D means 8 root 2 by 2. This is 16 root 2 by root 3 square unit. Another problem, if p q are the length of perpendiculars from the origin to the lines x cos theta minus y sin theta equal to k cos 2 theta and x x theta plus y cos x theta equal to k respectively prove that p square plus 4 q square equal to k square. So, given equation x cos theta minus y sin theta equal to k cos 2 theta. So, x cos theta minus y sin theta minus k cos 2 theta equal to 0. So, distance of this line from origin and this is given as p. So, p is the distance of line 1 from origin. This is according to question. So, p is equal to mod zero minus zero minus k cos two theta by square root of cos square theta plus minus sin theta square is equal to k cos 2 theta by sin square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. So, this is k cos 2 theta. Again, another equation of line is given x sec theta plus y cos theta equal to k. We can write it as x by cos theta plus y by sin theta equal to k. So, this can be written as x sin theta plus y cos theta is equal to k 
sin theta into cos theta and this can be written as x sin theta plus y cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 k into 2 sin theta into cos theta. So, this is k by 2 sin 2 theta means we can write it as x sin theta plus y cos theta minus k by 2 sin 2 theta equal to 0. Say this line is 2, this line 2 from origin is given as according to question q. So, q is the distance of second line from origin. So, q is equal to mod 0 plus 0 when you put the value of x 0 y 0 0 plus 0 minus k by 2 sin 2 theta by square root of sin square theta plus cos square theta. So, we will get q is equal to k by 2 sin 2 theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Now, we have to show that p square plus 4 q square equal to k square. So, p square plus 4 q square, p square is equal to p square is equal to k cos 2 theta. So, k cos 2 theta whole square plus and q is equal to k by 2 sin theta. So, 4 into k by 2 sin 2 theta whole square is equal to k square cos square 2 theta plus 4 into k square by 4 sin square 2 theta. So, k square take k square common cos square 2 theta plus sin square 2 theta because 4 4 cancel. So, this is k square. So, p square plus 4 q square is equal to k square. Another problem find the equation of line which is equidistant from the parallel line 3 x plus 2 y plus 6 equal to 0 and 9 x plus 6 y minus 7 equal to 0. So, given lines three x plus two y plus six equal to zero and second line is this is first line second line is nine x plus six y minus seven equal to zero so, take common 3. So, 3 x plus 2 y minus 7 by 3 equal to 0. In line first and second, the coefficient of x and y are equal. So, these two lines are parallel lines. Now, we have to find say these two lines are say this is line 1 and this is line 2. We have to find the equation of this line which is equidistant means if this is d 
then this is a, this is also a d we have to find equation of this line means say this line third we have to find equation of line third so we have we can find it in many way but any equation is parallel to given equation of line then we can write it as 3x plus 2y plus k equal to 0 say this line is parallel to line 1 this line is is parallel to line 1 or you can say this is family of parallel lines which is parallel to line 1 we have to find the value of this k since this line 3x plus 2y 3x plus 2y plus k equal to 0 put x equal to 0 so we'll get y is equal to minus k by 2 so say this point p the coordinate of this point p is 0 minus k by 2 it means according to question it is given that this line is equidistance from line and 1 and 2 so distance this distance and this distance must be equal and this is line 3x plus 2y plus 6 and this is line 9x plus 6y minus 7 equal to 0. So, according to question this d 1 and d 2 are equal d 1 equal to d 2 this implies 3 into 0 plus 2 into minus k by 2 plus 6 mod of all this divided by square root of 3 square plus 2 square is equal to mod and we write this as again 3x plus 2y minus 7 by 3 equal to 0. So, 3 into 0 plus 2 into minus k by 2 minus 7 by 3 by 3 a square plus 2 a square. So, these two you can cancel it. So, this implies minus k mod minus k plus 6 is equal to mod minus k minus 7 by 3 we can write it as k plus 7 by 3 mod. So, minus k plus 6 is equal to plus minus k plus 7 by 3 implies minus k plus 6 equal to k plus 7 by 3 or minus k plus 6 
इक्वल टू माइनस के माइनस सेवन बाई थ्री विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस रिजल्ट इज नॉट वैलिड रिजल्ट सो वी कैन कंसिडर ओनली वन रिजल्ट सो दिस इज माइनस टू के इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स प्लस सेवन बाई थ्री सो माइनस टू के इज इक्वल टू माइनस एटीन प्लस सेवन बाई थ्री सो दिस इज माइनस टू के एंड माइनस नाइन बाई थ्री माइनस एलेवन बाई थ्री माइनस एलेवन बाई थ्री माइनस माइनस कैंसिल सो दिस इज के इज इक्वल टू एलेवन बाई सिक्स सो के इज इक्वल टू एलेवन बाई सिक्स सो इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो इट मीन्स थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस एलेवन बाई सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इट मीन्स एटीन एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व वाई प्लस एलेवन इक्वल टू जीरो विल बी द लाइन विच इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम द गिव एन टू लाइन ना वी हैव एनदर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ स्टेट लाइन विच आर परपेंडिकुलर टू द लाइन ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन एंड ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू यूनिट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट माइनस फोर वन सो गिव एन इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन so equation of line perpendicular to line 1 is 5x minus 12y plus k equal to 0 according to question say this is a line 5x minus 12y plus k equal to 0 and a point p minus 41 is given and the distance of this point p from this line is 2 unit so by using distance formula mod 5 into minus 4 plus 12 into 1 plus k square root of 5 square plus 12 square equal to This implies mod minus twenty plus twelve plus k by one sixty nine equal to two. So mod minus eight plus k. By thirteen equal to two. This implies mod minus eight plus k equal to twenty six. So minus eight plus k is equal to plus minus twenty six. So this implies k is equal to eight plus minus. Twenty-six. So, k is equal to 
34 and minus 18. So, equation of line, equation of required line will be 5 x minus 12 y plus 34 equal to 0 or 5 x minus 12 y minus 18 equal to 0. Now, another example in the triangle with vertex a 2 3 b 4 minus 1. So, we have one triangle is given a 2 3 b 4 minus 1 and c minus 1 2 find the equation and length of altitude from vertex a we have to find So, slope of B C is equal to slope of B C is equal to 2 plus 1 by minus 1 and minus 4 is equal to minus 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5. So, slope of a n since n is perpendicular to b c. So, slope of a n is 5 by 3. So, equation question is find the equation of altitude. So, equation of a n equation of a n is y minus 3 equal to 5 by 3 x minus 2. So, implies 3 y minus 9 equal to 5 x minus 10. So, 5 x minus 3 y and minus 1 equal to 0. Now, we have to find the equation length of this altitude n. So, equation of B c equation of B c. So, just consider one point that is B 4 1 4 minus 1. So, y plus 1 equal to and slope of B c is minus 3 by 5. So, minus 3 by 5 and x minus 4. So, this is 5 y plus 5 is equal to minus 3 x plus 12 is equal to 3 x plus 5 y and minus 7 equal to 0. So, a n equal to a n equal to mod 3 into 2 plus 5 into 3 minus 7 by square root of 3 square plus 5 square is equal to 6 plus 15 21 minus 7 14 mod 14 by 25 plus 9 square root of 34 is equal to 14 by square root of 34 units. So, in this way we can find 
the length and equation of altitude of any triangle whose vertices are given. So, okay, now we shall discuss next concept in another session. Okay, thank you.